finishing touches, and this cherry pie is ready for the oven. Employees at this bakery make dozens of desserts each day, but no matter how many line up for a taste, owner Wanda Beaver says she faces some tough decisions. Obviously, everybody's going to have to get an increase in their wages, and I've calculated it's probably about $50,000 a year for the first year in uh, off the bottom line. Around the corner, this butcher shop has cut employee hours. In fact, more than half of small business owners surveyed by the Canadian Federation of Independent Business said they raised prices and reduced shifts in anticipation of the two-step wage increase. $14 now and up to 15 by next year. Premier Wynne is doing this in a mere 15 months. So the issue is the speed and the magnitude. It's like a tsunami for small businesses in Ontario. There's been a lot of dire predictions about the sky is going to fall, it's going to be catastrophic. I mean, here we are on day three, uh, the sky is still uh, upright. Helpin says paying people $14 an hour will put them above the poverty line. When you put your labor out there, when you work, uh, that you should be uh, earn a decent wage and be able to support your family, uh, your children, put food on their plate, pay your rent. That helped motivate Ivan Geds to mark up menu items and set his minimum wage to $16 in November. Some of the lower paid employees were coming and asking for advances on their check for things like um, paying rent, uh, groceries, whatever else. And it, you know, it was heartbreaking to see that, that I as an owner um, was living relatively comfortably, but my staff weren't. So this increase is going to help a lot. That's the kind of thinking he hopes other employers will embrace. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Toronto. So how does Ontario's $14 minimum wage stack up to the rest of the country? Alberta's rate is slightly lower at the moment, but it will be the first province to reach $15. That's later this year. At the opposite end of the scale, Saskatchewan and Nova Scotia. Both are below $11 an hour.